Okay, so this is Orange Pi OS, uh, the beta version, and I wanted to show the PS2 emulator Ether SX2. This is a 4 gig Orange Pi 5, and thanks to Phil Seaman for sending the details of this 3D printed case. I'll put a link in the description. I'm using a bigger fan than uh, it's designed for, but this fan is nice and quiet on 3.3 volts. You, you just can't hear it at all. Uh, so you can see I put these standoffs to give me a bit more room in it. I've also cut out, uh, it went all the way down to the SD card and it was very difficult to get an SD card in and out. So I've cut that out uh, and so now I can just push it and the SD card comes out nice and simply. Now the base of this should look like this, so it should have this honeycomb design. But I messed up on the 3D print and somehow put it lower on the bed than it should be. And so it didn't print that very thin layer. Uh, but actually it's worked out really well because I can easily get access to the NVMe drive. And that's important because if I'm running an SD card with Android, this device doesn't boot if there's an NVMe drive present. Even though there's nothing on this, it's format as FAT32 and it's blank. Uh, if I put an SD card with Ambien in, it boots absolutely fine. Anyway, let's have a look at the games. Okay, so if I first go to Ada64, and just to show that its CPU clock range goes from 408 to 2304, although it only usually goes up to 1800. I need to look at overclock, and I did try it in Ambien, but it didn't seem to work for me. Uh, but I'll definitely be looking at that in the future. So let's launch Aether SX2. You need to provide your own BIOS file for this. So let's start off with Spider-Man 3. So let's run around and see. oh yeah, it definitely feels nice and fast. Yeah, no, not struggling with that at all. Yeah, that feels fine. Let's just try it. Uh, I don't know what resolution I'm on at the moment. I think I'm probably on one times looking at it. So let's hit the back button. Yeah, it's on one times native at the moment. So let's go up to two times and just have a look, see what happens. Oh, it looks nicer. And it still feels really fast. I'm looking at the top and getting 60 FPS. Doesn't look like a PS2 game at all, does it? At two, even at two times, it just looks lovely and crisp. And definitely not suffering at all. Right, where have I got to go? Uh, can I go out the window? No, that's a shame. So I guess I'm going through these doors I opened up. Oh, yes, I am. Cue the cutscene. Look at the flames look pretty. Right, let's go up a bit more. Graphics. We might as well go for three times. Obviously some games will work better than others. It almost looks the same to me, but let's run around. We're getting 49. Oh yeah, which, okay, so three times is definitely too slow. So let's quit out of that. And you have now got all these increments in between so you can really play around with it but i'm going to go back to two times because that seemed absolutely fine Spider powers. wall crawl at the wall Man. Oh, yeah here we go look we're crawling along the wall oh loads of people in here right okay yeah it seems to be working absolutely fine right let's try another game so burnout three so I'm still on two times at the moment i mean it might need to drop that down for burnout three uh, and i've got some save states on here so let's go load state. This one was the latest. So looking at the FPS, what we've got about 50, 49. Actually, that feels all right. Yeah, tight corner coming up. Oh. Yeah, that's not struggling. Well, I don't believe it to be struggling. I think it probably does run at 50, this one. Yeah, the boost is fine. The audio seems to be fine as well. I think I might try upping it a little bit, see what happens. Yeah, that was two times. Let's go with three times and see what happens. Okay, three times is a no. You can see straight away that's struggling with that. I'm going to go to one times and see if it does do 60. But I think it probably is meant to be 50. One times. And then you'll see how ropey it looks. It looks really ropey. And yeah, and it's definitely locked in at, at 50. It's not going any higher than that. Yeah, happy with that. Prince of Persia. Now, I think when I tried this last time, it didn't boot. And I have definitely used it on... 
I think the Caras board I, I used it on. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, so let's quit out of that and try something else. There's obviously loads of settings you can go through to try and get things to work. Shadow of the Colossus, this is a good looking game. And this is a very hard to run game. And I think I might have a save state on this as well. I have. Yeah, this looks great. Things like the, the way the horse moves and everything. It's uh, very atmospheric as well. I've never played through it. I had an Xbox back in the day instead of a PlayStation. But yeah, look at look how great it looks, all the light and everything. So this is only on one times at the moment. And obviously, well, we're getting about 30 FPS. Oh, I don't know if I can, I can't go down there. Have a look at the environment. I think I've got, I think I might have configured the controller wrong because on most of the games, left is right and right is left, although that might be how it's configured, you know, like a flight sim. So let's change that to two times, although I'm sure it won't work or it won't be worth playing. Yeah, so straight away it looks much nicer. Oh, and the draw distance looks, oh no, that was fog. Right, okay. So the draw distance looks pretty decent. But if I start moving around, okay, it's definitely definitely slower. So let's put it back on one times. We'll maybe go 1.25. I think even 1.25 looks pretty decent. Right, how do you get out of here? Can I get up there? Or maybe I'd jump off the horse and run up there. I hope I'm supposed to go up here. It's taken ages. Did I just call my horse? No. <laughs> I've got to go to the top now, my the doors are gonna be locked, aren't they? Okay, I don't seem to be able to get through. Okay. Let's try something else. Let's jump off here. In the water. Okay, <laughs> dead. Pro Evolution Soccer. So this is looking like it's 50. A 1.25 already looks sharper than I'm used to seeing the original version. He's skillful. Oh, no one there. What's run? I'm used to FIFA controls. Yeah, that feels all right though. Oh, if he scored that, that would have been a great goal. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, but it's definitely slowing down though, uh, which is surprising. I wouldn't have thought this was that ambitious a game. What are we on? Okay, 1.25. I'm going to go. have to go to 1. There's no point in going higher. Yeah, you can see it, it just looks a bit softer. I really do with, do with learning the controls. Oh... I remember the first time I played this on PlayStation 1 and was just amazed at that, how good the controls were and through balls which hadn't really been a thing before. I can't even, I can't even get anywhere near them. Now we're talking. Oh, I thought I lost him then. Oh, that's good. This is good, this is good. I don't know what shoot is, I'm hoping it's that one. Oh, nearly. Okay, I'll leave it there. Oh, I suppose we should have watched the replay. Let's see what the replay looked like. It's a nice through ball, isn't it? Yeah, it should have put that one away. And what else have we got in here? Castlevania is super easy to run, so I've got no worries about that running on here. Let's try a bit of downhill domination, and hopefully we can get some nice resolution on this. I'm going to go straight in at two. Oh, no. No, definitely slow down. Uh, although, I suppose that might not be in the game. No, it's definitely, definitely not doing it right. So I can turn off the music and the speech, just in case. The speech is really slurred and slow. And back and resume. Ah, see that? That doesn't fit all right. And there was... Oh, no, no, that's slowed down. We didn't like the helicopter. Right, okay. One times it must be then. Or something in between. I guess we could go for that 1.25. As that did seem to just make that little bit of difference. Oh no, slow there as well. Okay, we might have to go below one on this one then. 
So graphics. So we'll try one first of all. What happened there? Oh, straighten up. <laughs> oh, what a shame. I've definitely played this on the Caddis. I can't believe that it needs more RAM because it's a PS2 game, which shouldn't need much RAM at all. Uh, I suppose I could try OpenGL. Maybe Vulkan is not as good. Now it seems to have caught up. What are we getting? We're getting 60 now. Oh, I wonder what was slowing that down. So if you want to change to, I don't know what the tricks are on this, so you can't land fakey. I quite like the fighting element of it, a bit like Road Rash. Let's see if we can take someone out. Now on certain things Vulcan makes a dramatic difference, but occasionally OpenGL is better on some things. So yeah, I don't seem to be getting the slowdown now though. Maybe a little bit. I can't catch anybody to be able to be able to hit them. There we go. Oh. Right, so let's try let's try open GL. Yeah, still getting that slowdown on the speech. Although that did seem to make a difference by turning all that off. I wonder if I didn't save it correctly the last time. Now that feels fast. 60. Oh, where's the, where's the track? Yeah, that's running all right. Okay, let's put this one up a bit higher then. So, one times. Let's go with 1.75. Yeah, that looks nice. And, looking at the FPS, it is around 60. So OpenGL in this instance might might be might have been better on some of the other games. You never know. I'll do a backflip. Oh, oh, straighten up. Nice. Yeah, that seems to be coping pretty well. Let's see if we oh nearly got someone. There's a real sensation of speed on this. It does feel proper frantic. Take out some of the joggers, or the walkers rather, not joggers. Yeah, so in this instance, OpenGL is definitely working better. And at two times, that's nice. Okay, so I hope all this helps. I'll definitely be trying out some more emulators. Um, I think that's going to be one of the strong things, because you're not going to get all the support that you get for the Raspberry Pi. But if we get the emulation going, and there's been talk of people trying to get things like RetroPi on there, uh, obviously, with the extra power that we've got, that could be really good. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.